benefiting kind. Let's have a recap when talking about electric vehicle salary sacrifice schemes. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel folks, JD here again with another quick video. I thought we'd do a bit of a recap today. What does it mean when we talk about benefiting kind rates on particular vehicles? So, um, electric, one of, the, one of the perks of salary sacrificing an electric vehicle is because the benefiting kind rates are really low. They started at 0%, then they went to 1%, they're currently at 2%, and then very recently the government announced the rates all the way up until tax year 27-28. So let's just have a, a bit of a recap. So if we look on here, look, so currently from tax year 2022 until 2025, they are 2% two and then 3%, 4% and finally finishing at 5% for tax year 27, 28. But the thing is, what does that actually mean? 2% of what? Where does, how does that impact on our take home pay? So I wanted to do a very, very quick recap. So let's go over to Excel. So, bear with me, let's say we are salary sacrificing an electric vehicle and it has a what we call a P11D value, which is basically the purchase price of the car less a few bits such as registration fees or whatever. So purchase price of the car plus options essentially. So let's say we've got a purchase price of £50,000 or a P11D value, and we are in this current tax year, 23-24, and it's got a rate of 2%. So I'm just going to put 0.02 in there. How does that affect our taxable pay and our net income, if you like? Well, what we do, we take 2% of the P11D value, so we're going to do that multiplied by that, which gives us a taxable benefit of £1,000. So what does that mean? Does that mean that we pay £1,000 a year in tax? Well, no, it doesn't. What it means is £1,000 effectively comes off our tax code if we're paid through PAYE. So our normal tax code, assuming there's no other deductions or no other additions, for this current tax year, and unfortunately up until tax year 2028, this is where stealth tax comes in, is 12570. So your standard tax code will be showing on your payslip as 1257L. So that basically means that we can earn £12,570 before we pay a penny in income tax. And the national insurance threshold is very similar as well. However, if we were to salary sacrifice a car with this particular value of £50,000, all that would happen is that £1,000 would come off our tax code. So our tax code now becomes 11570 or 1157L. So if we are a 20% taxpayer, what that means to us is it's effectively 20% of the 2% of the P11D value. So if we take 20%, so 0.2 if you like, and we multiply that by our benefiting kind, it's £200 a year. So we are paying £200 a year in income tax for salary sacrifice in that car. And that's why they are so uh, good value at the moment. Now, Obviously, when we get to 27, 28, it's going to go up to 5%. So if we put that into the spreadsheet, if we change that to 0.05, it's going to cost us £500 a year if we're a 20% taxpayer. So what's that? Per month, that is that over 12, which is £41 a month. So... If you're a 20% taxpayer and you're salary sacrificing a car with a P11D value of £50,000, even up in, sorry, even by 27, 28, it's going to cost us about £41 a month. If you're a 40% taxpayer, obviously it's going to be double that. So it's going to be £83 a month. Now, if we look at a different example, so I've just done a quick search look. If you were to salary sacrifice a 
BMW 1 Series 116D. That's got, believe it or not, a benefit in kind percentage charge of 28%, going to 29% in 2526. So if we bung that into the spreadsheet, 28%. At a 40% taxpayer, it would cost you, believe it or not, £466 a month in extra tax to salary sacrifice a 116D BMW. So that's where it comes from, and I just want to do a quick recap. Now, one thing we also should mention is the higher the benefit in kind value, the higher the tax that is coming off your personal allowance obviously affects when you start paying 40% tax because if we look on our rates at the moment look um, if we if I try and highlight this so if I scroll up and we've got basic rate there look so we pay 20% tax up to 37,700 pounds a year plus your personal allowance so if we take 1257L and add that on, you don't technically pay 40% tax until over £50,000 a year. But if we were to take the example of the um, BMW 116D, our tax code is going to be negative. So we've basically got £1,430 coming off the first 37,700. So we are going to start paying 40% tax after, uh, let's just work this out. I could do it on the spreadsheet, obviously. We'll do it here. So 37,700 less 1,430. So we are going to start paying 40% tax after earning £36,270, not £50,200 or whatever it currently is. So again, it's something else to bear in mind. The more benefiting kind you have, the more is going to come off your personal allowance and therefore the, the earlier you're going to start paying tax at the higher rate. I hope that makes sense. So I just want to touch on that. So Basically, and certainly until 27, 28, who knows what's going to happen then. That's why electric vehicles are so much more beneficial. If you've got a car allowance, which are normally subject to tax and national insurance. So let's say as an employer, I give you £500 a month car allowance. After you paid tax and NI on it, depending on your own circumstances, you might have £350 in your pocket to go and buy a car on a personal lease or a PCP or whatever, or get a personal loan. So there's no tax there, but you've paid tax on the car allowance of £150, give or take. If I give you a salary sacrifice scheme, I can take that entire £500 off your wage and use that to lease a car. However, if you're leasing a car, such as in the example of the BMW, you are taking that gross amount of £500 and using it to lease a vehicle, we have got to remember that we're going to pay a lot of benefiting kind tax. So there's kind of a sweet spot. You know, if you wanted to take, you know, get a, a petrol or diesel car, you might find you better off taking a car allowance, paying tax on the amount you're given, and then no more tax because you can take that net amount and buy your own car, versus salary sacrificing the entire amount but having a small or large amount of benefit in contact. So for an EV, it works because it might only be £10 a month. So you've kind of got £490 net, if you like. But if it's in the case of the BMW, where it's going to cost us something like, let's, let's say we're a 20% taxpayer. So let me just change that to 0 0.2. £233 a month in income tax. So you could take that £500 a month for a salary sacrifice scheme to get a, a nicer car, but you're paying an extra £233 in tax through benefiting kind. So what I'm saying is salary sacrifice works extremely well for electric vehicles, might not work so well for petrol or diesel cars, and you might find you're better off taking a car allowance and taking that amount net 
and purchasing your own car. I hope that was a useful recap. As always, contact me here if you'd like a copy of either of the tools. So we've got the now infamous PCP and voluntary termination HP calculator. That's a one-off donation of £10. We've also got the um, salary sacrifice EV calculator, which is also £10. And I've also now put those into one app, which you can get for £14.99. And that will automatically push through any updates that I care to make. So send me an email there if you'd like details on that. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take care.